Brittany. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, please make sure before you leave that you hit the subscribe button. Then also hit the notification bell so that you will get notified whenever I post something new. Once the video is over, if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up. And make sure you hit that share button underneath the video and share it on your social networks with to all your friends and family. I'd appreciate it. Okay, if you weren't present for the first part of this video, I went through and did a series of dots, different sizes, on each one of the four uh, Pilsner beer glasses that I'm painting. And then I've uh, let them actually dry for a couple days. So today I'm going to go back over them and add some more depth to the dots because I there was no way with this paint and the, as runny as it is that I could do any dotting on top of dots or barely even touch a dot without it bleeding. So not too crazy about the paint. I will be honest with you on that. I really probably enjoy my folk art enamels and multi-surface paints way more than I do this. But anyways, with that being said, I am using my acrylic, I think they're called pens actually, the way it, it described in the listing. But they're anyhow, they're little acrylic cylinders basically that I'm using to dot with. Still kind of on the fence if they're really my favorite thing to dot with, but I'm going to stick with them since that's what I started with. And I am just going to pick colors and kind of go back through, add some depth to them by putting a dot on top. And I just, I like the idea of having, maybe not all of them, but just going around and adding them here and there. Especially if I had any drips, I'll tell ya. I'm really not used to this paint and it is so much runnier. And I do have to, to really state not crazy about it. It's just when you're not used to something and it's running and it's dripping all over the place, it's like goodness sakes. And I've painted a lot of glasses and never had had that issue. Like this one is going to give me a way to go, it looks. I mean, I wanted these to turn out nicely. I'll tell you. Hmm, maybe there's a secret to this paint. I'm not really certain what that would be. I guess I probably should mention what I'm actually using. I am still attempting to do dots with, let me get the gloss the name is, it's Americana. And it's the gloss enamels. They're all purpose gloss acrylics. So we'll see, see what happens here. All right, so again, I'm just going to continue to go around and add some depth to the dots using the different tools and but not doing it on all of them. Now this paint is different from my folk art enamels as far as even bake time, dry time. They ask that you allow the paint to air dry for at least 48 hours. And that's one thing with the folk art enamels. You don't have to do that. Very quick. An hour. Hour at best. So Anyways, so I'm just, you know, going around like I mentioned and just putting some, just some depth into it. Not all of them. I don't feel like I need to do that to all the dots. And I'm off-centering them too. They don't have to be perfectly centered. 
and with me they're not going to be. And let's say, let's do some of this on the pink one. Maybe this is too big. I bet this one is too big for it. Let's see. I guess I could still do it on that. I thought that would turn out better on these little pink ones. So if I put a color too close to each other, I can do this and then it'll look different. Just, you know, randomly go around, especially if any of it dripped and maybe it, like this one has a drip and I can cover it up with that. Seems like there's always a creative way to fix something. <coughs> Excuse me. And some of this paint is so thin that that was an issue too. I just want to put have too many the same colors close to each other. But I like giving it some added depth. Oh, my paint's starting to get low. This is just kind of like a sample set. Or it is a sample set. Probably not kind of like it. It is a sample set. Alright. So I'm going to stop with that. Move on to the smaller one. And then if I need to add anything. I probably can still do it with just a little dot like that. I mean, I think that's kind of cute. Yeah, that's too close together probably. Oh, let's do that. And you can add more dots to it if you need to. Just got to be careful I'm not putting it on something runny. Just makes a fun fest of glass. At least that's what I think. Like I said, when I tried to do like some dotting close to each other, it just was a mess. So I could on this go back today and do some adding of some additional dots if I wanted to. Kind of like to fill in the areas. Or just leave it like this. It doesn't need to be necessarily need to be like overrun by by dots. And I was just thinking this when I was filming this. You know, I could actually turn because so I just went and rinsed one off because I do want to. I think some put some light on here. The white's really runny. Um, add some light in here, especially if I had too many too close together. Mm -hmm. And then you have to make sure you get enough paint on them. And I might even go back over some of the white put red in there. That would be kind of neat. But some of the paint, because it is so thin, just really ended up being thin looking. I mean, like you could see through it. So I'm not certain on this. Maybe this would be good paint if you wanted to do more of a, a like stained glass window type thing. I'm not sure. Just really kind of weird. Very kind of strange. But I do like it. I think it's kind of fun looking. And the fact that I'm not doing it on every dot, I think makes it kind of nice too. 
Let's see which one's the biggest. I'm going to turn it over. Now on some of these big red dots, or big white dots, I'm sorry, that I know are dry, or I think are dry. Hmm, I'm going to be scared here. Not sure if that one is dry or not. Oh shoot. <laughs> I'm looking at a white dot and I just, instead of dipping it into the red, I dipped it into the white. Don't do what I do. Oh, come on. Definitely need to get it loaded with enough paint. That helps. Because I want it to look nice. And I'll just move it around and sporadically do this. And that's a nice one. I don't want to do it too much. But I'm just thinking in some of the spots, it, I had too, many, too much white. Too much white. So I need a nog having a hard time telling what I just painted if it's wet or not because these red dots might turn out to be pink if I hit one that's that's dry or wet it's like these I can't tell I think I'm just gonna do one more on top of it I'm gonna press my luck Okay. I'm going to leave, leave that alone. And then what I think I might do is take this little stick. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to do a... One of my stylists I'm going to throw in here. And then do some white on these red dots. Like I said, I just, I think it's fun. But I'm not going to do it on all of them. Once again, just on some. And it's okay if they're not centered. Off-centering them, I think. That one's going to... I don't want them right next to each other either. To off-center them is fine. I guess if you feel like you have too many... Now I just go back over it and just add, and you, you, you're, you know, you sit back and look at it and see how it makes you feel. You know, do you feel like it needs more? Do you feel like it needs, or it has too much? You can always fix it somehow. All right, so I think for the purpose of this, other than, hmm, let's see here, I might go back to this one and do a dot over here. So I have two pinks together, well, I have two pinks over here too, but I can't really do anything with it right now. Yeah, I think that's cute. Just a fun little fuss. Now you could do something around the bottom here if you wanted. I'm choosing not to do that. I'm just going to leave it be. But hey, why not? It's fun. You have dots and dots and dots. Now, if you give it more time to dry and you come back and you say, hey, got too many big white dots, too many plain ones, or I want to do a third, you know, give it the 48 hours and come back and do it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'll get working on the other ones and I'll be back to show you those. I think they're pretty. Okay, so I went over all of them and added some extra dots or whatever, different, different colors and such. And I really like how they're turning out because the only thing I'm really kind of disappointed in is the runniness of the paint. So there might be some areas that I'm going to have to touch up 
maybe add some some things to kind of cover up areas where the paint is running. But for the most part, I think they've turned out really pretty. Kind of fun. And guess what? Everybody will know which glass is theirs. I think that's the fun part about having painted glassware is the fact that there's no mistake in which glass is yours, right? All right, so that's the end of this series. I appreciate you stopping by again to see the video. Make sure, though, if you haven't done it already, that you do subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new videos that I post. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. And please share it with all your friends and family. All right, and until the next video, I will talk to you then. Have a good one.